what were we playing? Okay. You guys want to hear scary stories or what? One time these two women were writing radio scripts and they got trapped in a room and the power went out and a light turned on that was green. And they thought it was a ghost and one woman got took over by the ghost and then an earth tumbler hit and they were both killed by the ghost. Why does it only fall? <laughs> you didn't even choose! You lose the day you're born. One time, a guy brought his wife back to life, and she killed the guy, and then he killed her. Oh, what's this? My Fair Lady of vir Virtual Mad John. It's not even going. Ah, oh, it was down here. Puyo Puyo's son. Sea bass fishing. Stop, okay, stop, stop, okay, please stop giving Ma a boner, I gave no permission, how would you feel if I gave you unwanted cummies, yeah, that's what I yeah. thought, but you give me poppies or gilfies, I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Happy return. A man travels by ship. <gasps> Mysterious sad looking woman, which, oh, he can't, let me see your face, okay. We're playing Axiom then. Start it up! Past nine. Depends on the sound too. Can you hear that shit? Should've played Kingdom. So I know you don't really know me, Sean, but if you join the bro team forums and pay for the hosting, you could. Thanks there ahead of time, people. buddy. Your friend, mm -hmm. Snot. Well, here, right. I mean, not Snacks. Your, <laughs> Your friend, Snot. Uh, uh, it's not Snacks. Being missed. Crutchley was one Can of you hear them. this okay? It wasn't until his name was mentioned casually that evening at the store. I love a hamburger right now. But most of us remember that we hadn't seen him for the last year or two. Yes, I remember. It's all fuzzy. Oh, he's the one. Oh! Yeah, let's get a new one. Isn't it crazy? Some of them are pretty cool. Spawn of the subhuman. An opera- <laughs> Okay. Why are there so many- Ah, oh, there you go. Dark fantasy. That's good. Is it? Do you hear that up there? Spawn of the sub human you're sub human trash you're semantic blockage oh. beautiful takeoff yes good pilot but why did you charter such a large plane for just the two of us michael is it being just a bit too pretentious <laughs> <laughs> nothing but the best from now on adela Besides, this was the only plane available. You can unloosen your safety belt now. Unloosen. I might as well confess that the real reason I was late is because I took so much time reading the notices in the paper this morning. Oh, weren't they superb? Excellent. The audience was quite nice to me last night. Extremely appreciative. She's a singer. <laughs> I didn't expect such fine reports from the oh, press. Shit. Didn't I tell you before the concert that you'd be a hit? Today, my dear, you're recognized as the outstanding soprano of the nation. You've had oh, a lot of faith in me, haven't you, Michael? Well, offhand, I'd say I have, yes. You spent we a lot, lot of, money of games tonight, didn't we? Didn't we? <laughs> Don't worry. You didn't, you didn't even put it in, did you? <laughs> get as good houses I think you can try. I th yep. Michael. Yes, darling? Do you feel, well, rather strange? Strange? No, dear, why? I... We're playing games. I feel like something is going to happen. <laughs> 
What makes you say that? I hope nothing evil goes down on this flight. A feeling of impending danger just seemed to come over me all of a sudden. That can be a sign of schizophrenia. What possible danger could we be in? I don't know. But I've had this feeling before. It's like... Like someone had spread a shroud down over this airplane. Now, that's a peculiar way to talk, Adela. It's the same sort of feeling I had that day Stefan disappeared. Stefan Wilder? Yes. Stefan Bjork. I was riding in my car that day. I'd been to a matinee with several of my friends. Ah, fuck, that's why. We'd had a glorious time. Come on. I was quite happy. So I drove out into the country with the top down on my car. The wind was blowing against the car, just as it's blowing against the plane now. Wind, you say? The sun was glistening on the bright metal of the car, just as it's glistening on the wing out there. Darling, please don't think of that now. Shut the fuck up. Oh, it was a lovely day. I try to enjoy anything, and this happens. My heart was very light. I was happy, thrillingly happy. Stefan and I were to be married within a week. Adela, please. And then... For no reason at all, I had that strange feeling. It just came out of nowhere and settled down around me like a a huge cloth might cover the body of someone who had just died. Don't talk that way, darling. It was the strangest feeling I'd ever experienced. Weird. Terrible. We should get some bergs, dude. I'm fucking serious. A hundred thousand evil spirits were racing at a <laughs> maddening pace like behind my car. <laughs> I like these stories. Trying to catch up with me. Clutch me in their bony, fiendish hands. That was so long ago. Five years. So long ago. Get over it. Your stupid dead husband. Seems Can like we yesterday. watch Bay Watch Nights again? Yeah. Then, when I speeded up the car... Sped? Something began to pound in my ears. Oh, it's, it's pounding it's there a... now, Michael. It's pounding there now. Adela, please. The faster I drove, the more that evil shroud hung over me. You guys want to do again. IRL fights? Oh, yeah, Megfest. Do you guys want to do IRL more. fights soon, though? We can go and get then. Bergs. Like, even tonight, if you want to get some Bergs. They thought you were dead. Do you know a place? I couldn't make the curve. I'm scared. The motor Megfest Burger Queen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I could think of but one Sick. single danger. The invisible danger that raced there behind me. Striving to catch me in its hold. But there was no one. You're Nothing. gonna say something so that scary that this whole pa- plane gets and what was so strange, infected with it. You all of a sudden, that idiot. bright day vanished. Ah, shit. How do you do it? Just vanished. Clouds came out of nowhere and hid the sun from sight. Darling, I, I better pull down the shade on the window. Oh, Michael, wait a minute. Look. Hmm. Look outside. Can you teleport? Clouds. Clods? They're flying below them. Clods? They've completely blotted out the sun. The sun will be out in a minute. Oh, it's just like that day. Clouds hiding the sun. I knew it. It's just like they did that day. I shouldn't have oh, come here. I'm endangering the mission. Dark, dreary clouds. Followed by loud bursts of thunder. Listen. Thunderless? Oh, my God. What does it mean? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just a thunderstorm. Pilot will go up and fly above it. Why didn't he go up above the storm when he saw it? Oh, I don't know. Because he didn't see it, that's why. Certainly he did. No. No, it came up. Just like that day five years ago. Out of nowhere. It came up before the pilot was even aware of it. Oh, nonsense. It wasn't nonsense five years ago. Wasn't nonsense five years ago, Donald? Then the thunder. Then it began to rain. Well, look for yourself. It's not raining now. It's nothing but an electrical storm. See, we're going above it. Oh, Michael, I'm frightened. There's nothing to be frightened about. It's nothing about. but pure electricity Man, look, smashing itself against There's a sun again. Plane. It was all so strange. That feeling. The clouds hiding behind the sun. The thunder. Sure, but the clouds no rain. Hiding behind oh, Michael. Oh, God. Just the pilot talking to us over the talkback system. Uh, push that button right there so I can answer him. Mr. Brock, Miss Rhodes. Yes, pilot, what is it? Uh, don't be alarmed about the storm. We're above it now. Oh, yes. Thank you. Uh, just an electrical storm, isn't it? No, sir. It's more than that. It's raining cats and dogs down there. It's a fire storm and also Rain. poison. Oh, my God. 
We're up above the storm. Nothing Rain. can harm us here. You remember, don't you? So I never a... saw Stephen Wilder again after that experience I had five years ago. Yes. As I remember. No one ever saw him again. He, he just, just he disappeared, disappeared on a plane. Please, darling, don't think about it anymore Shut today. No, You're tired. Perhaps a little rest would do you good. Oh, yes, you're right. I am tired. Just lie back and relax, then. Honestly, sweet, there's nothing to be worried about. We just happened to run into a storm and you thought about that old experience of yours. I wonder, Michael. I wonder if we it's did just years. happen into the storm. If we happened to a storm? Yeah, storm. I happen to storm. Storm's done. Uh, you never even went in here. If you get full health in this game, you get little shooters. It's the wither. Oh, Michael, where are you, darling? Over here, dear. Did you have a good sleep? I'm still oh, in the airplane with you. I did sleep, point. after all. Why are the lights out? Oh, I turned them out so you could sleep as long as you could. And I'll switch them back on. Yeah. What time is it? Hey, uh, look to hoop it room. It's that big ball of fire in the sky oh, called my God, Sun Again. Sleep more than eight hours. See it, you <laughs> see it you'd stupid? Never wake up. It's after dark, and you've had the lights off all this time just for me. Well, I guess I'd better down admit down I got a little sleep too. Where are we now? Over Mexico. Hey, hungry, dear? Oh, I'm famished. You know, I can't imagine what made me sleep so long. Why don't we, we stop in Mexico, Mexico for a bite there. to eat? Have we landed at all since I retired? No, we're circling now. Well, that's Centella down there. Oh. They better pretty up a bit. This is a secluded part of the country, but you never know who you're going to run into. You never know. Yeah, that guy can destroy things. Destroy that. I know you can do secrets. Just being over in Mexico is terrifying this guy. Centella. How long before we're in Monterey? Oh, about an hour. Don't hit me. You a good reservation. The best. Did you enjoy your dinner? Oh, immensely. That was a nice. You had a plane place. mill. Certainly a rough landing field, though. Well, it's not actually a landing field. We had to land someplace to refuel before we got to Monterey, so I picked Centella. I enjoyed it. A quaint little place. Hmm. It's a funny thing, Michael. Did you notice the plane? What do you mean, dear? didn't look a bit like it had been in a rainstorm. I thought you'd forgotten all about that. Of course, it didn't look like it. We flew above the rain before it started. Oh, yes, that's right. Well, if you don't mind, I'm okay. going to spend the next hour looking through my fashion magazines before we land at Monterey. I will spend the next hour disregarding you. Oh, yeah, this can break, can it? There's a thing underneath there. Thanks. Michael? Yes? Should we be over water? Water? Well, no, of course not. Well, we are. There's water all around us. Well, let's see. Why, heaven, Adler, you're right. Why, heaven? Well, it's off his course. Well, surely you must realize it. Oh, you better go up and find out. Yes, I will. I'll be right back. Have, hurry, Michael. Well, have a have. Right. Have a have a care. Oh, door to the pilot's cabin's locked. Oh, I say, shit. pilot. Pilot. What's wrong, Michael? Oh, the door you know, to this cabin is locked. Curtain over the windows pulled down inside. The windows. Pilot, open up. Look, he's raising the curtain. <gasps> Michael. Good lord. It's a vampire. Carry arm. Michael. That's not our pilot at the controls. It's a monkey. A it's a baboon. It's oh, a monkey. Are we dreaming? No. Literally, it's no, a it's monkey. True. A live gorilla piloting. <laughs> That's impossible. I no, know this real sick fellow. Come, the door's locked. Open this door. Open up. Oh, Michael, be careful. Look there was this obsession back in the day Getting with back at us. gorillas doing the shit. Eyes and an expression on his face that almost human. 
This is fantastic. How in the world did we ever come to be in the air with a creature like that? We had our regular pilot when we landed at Centella. I saw him climb down out of the cabin. So did I. But Anything good I never here? did see him again before we took off. Naturally, I just assumed to it me wasn't when I gave a him monkey ahead signal. Oh, Michael. Michael, now what? Oh, he's over land. He's bringing the plane down. Oh, my God. We're on the ground. An absolutely perfect landing. <laughs> Boy, I guess I can't the door now. Michael, what's he going to do? Just take it easy. Don't get excited. Whatever you do, don't run or make a fast movement. Don't let him know you're afraid of him. Just standing there, looking at us. Whatever you do, don't let him know you're afraid of him. You don't have to be afraid of me. <laughs> Michael. That, that creature talked. Of course I talk. <laughs> oh, we're a couple of fools, Adela. Just our pilot playing a trick on us, dressed up in a monkey suit. There is no trickery. No, that's I'm real. I'm not your original pilot. <laughs> I joined you at Centella, where I came to meet you for Dr. Luther. Dr. Martin Dr. Luther? Yes. He's waiting for you. Now come, follow me. I come. Steady, darling. Come on. Oh, there's a bad guy. There's the doctor now. Well, Stephen, I see you brought our visitors. Yes, doctor. Oh, yes. Yes, just as I directed you. Welcome, Adela Rhodes, and welcome to your lovely, lovely voice. I say, look here. And welcome to you, Mr. Brock. I'm so sorry that you will be of no assistance to me. However, you may be interested in... What I have planned. Now listen, Dr. Luther. I want to know what this is all about. You will learn what it is all about. And without delay, I assure you. Come, Stefan. Don't be so inhospitable. Show our guest into the laboratory. <laughs> Sit down over there, my dear. Over here, oh. Mr. Brock. My God. Dr. Luther, I demand an explanation. Where are we? Why have you brought us here? You're too full of questions, Mr. Brock. I've already told you I'm about to show you why I brought you here. I fucking told you already. Here, high in these mountains, secretly, I've been working for five years, experimenting. No monkey Dr. business, testing, friend. It's trying just to completely accomplish bananas. What everyone no need said to was go utterly away. impossible. <laughs> and I told them about it. Light was alone. I didn't tell anyone. Instead, I came here and built this laboratory. You see, it's fully equipped and modern in every detail. Now, look here, Dr. Luther. During modern. those five years, I trained Stephen here. I believe you will agree my training has been very successful. You now see an Step almost full-grown gorilla behaving like a human, acting like a human, even talking like a human. I've been very kind to you, haven't I, Stephen? Yes, Dr. Luther. Of course you've been kind. Yes. Yeah. Just so. <laughs> Scientists back there in your world, my dear Miss Rhodes, will tell you it's impossible to completely train a gorilla. Break the bricks. That is the second point in which I've proved them wrong. Step in. Sing for us. Yes, Doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, but I just got here. What the fuck is this game? It looks like Bus Explorer 9000. Why do people make games like this? If you made this game, one wants you to know you are worthless garbage who has contributed nothing to anything. I hope you're okay. I want to lose control. <laughs> Soon he will be world famous. I shall travel with him. Take him to the four corners of the earth and show Heavens people to how Betty, well my chimp. gorilla is. Heavens seen. to Betty. Oh, my God. Um, I can't believe it. Oh, yeah. Do I put drones on? Stephen Wilder's voice. It can't be. Ah, but it is. Ah. Yes. Ah, the French. Now I remember. Now I know who you are, Doctor. Slurp me up. Stephen Wilder had an appointment with you that day he disappeared five years ago. I'd forgotten all about it, but I just now remembered. So that's what happened to Stephen Wilder. 
You kidnapped him I think and brought him here cool. and... You. Axiom Verge, yep. Precisely. It's a good list and... <laughs> I brought him here to do what others said could never be done. Oh, uh, you can go up there. And I chloroformed him five years ago and brought him here. I thought I was ready. Corloform. But my gorilla wasn't. So I had to wait. My guts. Three months ago, I performed the operation. Operation? I removed the vocal cords from the man and grafted them into the gorilla. Oh. This is ridiculous. Oh. A thing like that can't be done. Oh, oh, surely you don't deny the proof I've just given you, Mr. Brock. Stephen, Steffen see. Brock. Oh. John Madden, John Madden, John Madden, John Madden. Oh, my God, it's you a gorilla, Michael that John. Voice, Miss Rose. Michael Madden, John. The moment Madden. you heard it, because Michael you John. sung operas with Mr. Wilder so much. That was the way he sang. To exercise his voice. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you both realize... Don't come in, Mom. I'm exercising my the voice. The secret of an untold wealth. Why, besides knowing how to train this ferocious and oh, yeah, that's that. morose type of animal. Besides knowing how to transfer human vocal cords successfully. I have something I can exhibit to the world. To prove my knowledge. Think... Think of the fortune I can amass because what? people will pay immense sums to see and hear my singing gorilla. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, I say. Why have you brought me here? <laughs> Surely you could have spared me this. I will tell you yeah, why, Miss Rhodes. Care. Show me that. If you and Mr. Brock will step over here. The only place we're going to step is out of this place. In jail. We'll do as I ask. Step in. These Kill. people are not to leave. Very well, Dr. Luther. Over here, if you please. Better do what he says, Anna. There. Go to this plate glass. Look into the next room. Another gorilla. Yes. Isn't it a fine specimen? Fine specimen? Yes, do she... Do you think the gorilla she? can? Fuck uh, like a man too, Michael. Do you, Michael? No. I think it's got You're the fuck having... strength of a gorilla. I've trained her very carefully. She was so much you, more Michael? responsive than the male. Now that she's able to obey me, I'm quite ready for the rest of my plans for wow, her. Wow, that sounds like oh, real no. water right beside me. No, you can't. I, I won't let you. I'll say if you can. Neither of you will be able to prevent it. And soon, soon I'll tour the world with the most amazing exhibition on Earth. A male and a female gorilla. Do it, Turner. the world's famous operas. Look here, you. Wait a minute. I just happened to think of something, Doctor. Yes? Do you remember the day Stephen Wilder had that appointment with you? Stephen Wolf. Five done years it. ago? Yes. Certainly I remember. I've been uh, trying to it hurt. obtain possession of him so I could bring him here. I was most pleased when he called and asked for an appointment. But did he tell you why he was calling upon you? I know. No, he didn't. Because your shit. He came to you, Dr. Luther. Because he was losing his voice. You. You must be wrong. I am not wrong. I am the only one he told about it. It had been worrying him for a long time. You see, the more he sang, the worse his voice became. He was gradually losing it. But that's impossible. Do you think so, Doctor? You're a specialist on that subject. That's why he was coming to you that no, day. No, you must be wrong. After all the work I've done. Your gorilla will lose his voice, Dr. Luther. Fuck. And I assure you, before you. you do anything yes, to me, I'll see to it that my voice is ruined too. He won't. He can't. He's an excellent voice. Excellent. Yes, yes, Get of hurt course and then he use is. It to jump. We've worked together. I've trained him. His voice can't go bad on me now. Not now. Just when it's finally successful. Oh, you'll see, Dr. Luther. No, you're wrong. You're mistaken. He'll sing all right. He won't lose his voice. Will you step in? No, of course not. Yes. You're in an excellent voice. Well, Stephen. I guess I'll give off that. <laughs> yeah. Sing. Sing your head, Stephen. Show him. <laughs> in your head. Did you hear that? A beautiful quality. Beautiful tones. 
My voice, I can... Listen, Doctor. Kevin, what's wrong? Try again. Oh, my... I didn't expect now the story to go wrong. in this direction. No, it's true. Stay with you, you devil. After all I've done, after all my work. You this devil? This is what I get as a reward. I sacrificed everything. Yeah, he taught a gorilla to I do this. Why not just teach a gorilla to sing? All my money, and this is what happens. Well, sucks. There's one way, Stephen. By heaven, there's one way. Get back, Adela. He got a gun. No, no, Doctor Luther. Oh. That bullet hit that beast. But look at him. Stop. No, no, Stephen. Stephen, no, no. Stephen, let go of me. Stefan, no, no, Stefan! <laughs> Goddamn, Shron, you turn me on. Chan on my Tatum hot stuff. You get me Puerto Rican girl worked up like I want it rough. Hit it Channel from the back, give my ass a slap. And then give me the cummies so I can get that green card. Wow, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you ever liked me at all. Dark fantasy. <laughs> Oh, is this the commercial break? You have heard Spawn of the Subhuman. Tonight's original tale of Dark Fantasy by Beast. Scott Bishop. Ben Morris was heard as Michael Brock. Eleanor Naylor Corrin was Adler Rhodes. Garland Moss played Dr. Luther and Muir Height was the gorilla. Muir Height. Next Friday night at this same time, Fahrenheit. listen to the 16th in this series of dark fantasy dramas created by Scott Bishop, The Man with the Scarlet Satchel, the story of an aged millionaire who receives a child's set of modeling clay as a practical joke, but who turns the gift into an incredible and weird instrument of destruction. And weird, it's not just... Don't miss this unusual story next Friday night, The Man with the Scarlet Satchel. Yeah, that was the whole story. Seance. Not only raps and sounds, but the visual image. Is this medium for real? Uh, w for werewolf. It might have a good... Yeah, okay. It might have a good scream in it. Suspense. Friday the thirteenth. And the thirteenth. Dude, that's pretty soon. Dark fantasy story by Scott Bishop. W. W. Is for where? What will do? Buster is kind of dumb. <laughs> no. Over this way, Bill. Bill Andrews, you old pill roller. <laughs> you old Golly, pill roller? You. Well, Jim Howard, welcome to K uh, Cape Howell. You're just the medicine the doctor ordered. <laughs> and you're the doctor. How are you, Bill? Never better. Say, am I glad to shake hands with you again? You're the same old Jim. Five years haven't changed you a single bit. Well, I'm sorry. I'm glad you I can't came, the Jim. same thing about you. You look tired, almost sick. I say you aren't ill, are you? Ill? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I've just been working hard. Not much sleep lately. Come on, I, I've got a wagon waiting right over here. Wagon? Sure, nothing fancy about us. We'll take the wagon to the boat landing, and then we'll row over to my island. Oh, there's a door you didn't go through. Hey, now, wait a minute, Bill. Are you trying to rib me? What, what do you mean, your island? Oh, didn't I tell you? I... I haven't lived in Cape Howell for three years. I, well, I, I find it more pleasant and comfortable out on the island. But what island? Folks around here have another name for it. But don't mind them if you hear it. Hell. I call it a chape. Hmm. Uh, say that again, Bill. A chape. <laughs> well, what's that, Scandinavian or Esperanto? French. Esperanto. 
Here's the wagon over here. Young John's waiting on the boat landing. Oh, I say, how is young John? Jim, I, I don't know. I, I'm worried about him. He's having trouble with his studies. Doesn't seem to like books and... X company. minus one? Well, I, is that a story? more lonesome than anything else. It's more than lonesomeness, Bill. It's more. Ever What's since that? Bill Jr. died, he, he hasn't been the same. Angela and I were sorry to hear about Bill Jr. It's pretty sudden, wasn't it? Yes. Pretty sudden. That's the way it is in this country, though. He can so translate it. So few conveniences. Kaleidoscope fire. Oh, by the way, you say Angela and the child will be along in a few days? Oh, yes. You got my wire? Got it yesterday. I didn't know your sister lived at Lowston. Oh, yes, she has for years. She lives in Flossen Paradise. Visit about a week, and then she'll come on down here to Cape Harbor by steamer. Well, incidentally, old man, do you think this country's all right for the baby? Had her shots, has she? Oh, yes. I did everything you suggested in your letter. You know, that letter you wrote almost scared Angela out of coming. Oh. She said if it's that dangerous here, she doesn't think we should risk the child's life by bringing you her. Me out well, of, no scared me out of a jacket. He scared me. Against the three diseases I, I think I just inoculated. You're sure there's no other danger? I've taken care of any other danger there might be. Hmm? What do you mean? Minorities. There's nothing in the world for you or Angela to worry about. Please believe me, Jane. Well, all right, old man, all right. Huh. Angela and I are on the first vacation we've had since we've been married. And believe you me, we're here to make the best of it. <laughs> Good. They're going to have fine. sex. Come on, the, the wagon's waiting, see? Right over there. Believe you me, I'm going to have the sex out of my wife. The sex the hell out of her. Fine country, eh, what, Jim? Oh, marvelous. We've enjoyed the whole trip so far. Didn't even get seasick on the way across. Not even the baby. And she is only a year old. And say I'm anxious to see that girl. Quit fucking me up. I named her Sandra. Well, that's one of Angela's favorite names. Sandra. Pretty name, I like it. Which one of these people is the girl? This is the blamedest means of transportation I've ever had to endure. Blamedest? Blamedest means. You would at least have your own limousine. No, Jim. I haven't been doing so well lately. I hope you'll be able to put up with what I have to offer you on the island. Rough and rugged, is it? Quite. I built the cabin myself. It's not much, but it's comfortable. Oh, by the way... Slurp me up! Did you bring the books I wrote you about? Books? Oh, yes, they're in the trunk. Good. Ooh. I must say, that's the strangest collection of books I've ever heard of. What kind of experiment are you doing on that it? island anyway? It's pretty serious, Jim, I assure you. Well, it must be. I read your books on the way across. You you did? Yes, indeed. Dr. Helgen Woodward's book on lycanthropy and... Lycanthropy? McClure's pamphlet on the disease Lumpus vulgaris and Guy Ender's story, Werewolf of Paris and other books on where Werewolf in London. I can't for the life of me imagine, Andrews, what you want with books like that out here in this wilderness. He could be a wilder beast. Ooh. All right, Jim, here we are. Oh, John, here's Jim Howard. You remember Mr. Where else Howard? haven't you been? Don't you, Johnny? Well, sure he does. How are you, John, old boy? I used right. to beat his ass. Glad to see you, sir. Huh. Oh, there's another hey, blue one you should go to. Used to see. Here, let me shake your hand. No, sir. No. I don't want to shake hands. Oh, come on now. We're old friends, aren't we? No, Mr. Hallett. Oh, I say. Now. Jim, just a minute. Let go, Mr. Hallett. There. Jim. Oh, there now. Shake just like old friends. Let go. Let go my hands. Let go, Jim. <laughs> Please. I do not want to shake your hand. The boy's handbill. Come on, Jim. Into the boat with you. Come along, Johnny. Johnny, get into the boat, son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come along, Jim. All right, I'm, I'm shoving off. I'm shutting. Oh, uh, shoving uh, off. All right, Johnny. Isn't he with his family you want to also? Take the for the exercise, or you want me to row? Uh, well, son, I told him not to shake my hand. I told him, didn't I? Johnny. Can I help it? Is it my fault if my hands are... Johnny! Not another word! 
Yes, sir. I'll roll. Okay, son. Hop to it. Johnny. Uh, Vulgaris. Sonny. If I did something. Come on. Down to the other end of the boat, will you? Here. Sit here. I see Andrews, that boy's hand. Quiet, he's, he's upset enough. Shut up. Bill. Ah, oh, don't go the there. The palm of Johnny's hand. Good lord. Pure fur. Lord, man. It's all covered with a thick growth of hair. <laughs> it's because he bastard me. It's... <gasps> the absence of funny demolitions is really depressing. No. Okay, Jim. We're getting the sentiment flowing. Hmm. Hey, this is fine. You say you built this yourself, Bill? Yep. Every bit of it. That's a nice like piece of ass. It's perfect, but uh, pretty inconvenient. Oh, I don't mind. Sorry we had to arrive here so late. I'll show you around in the morning. Yes, I'm anxious to see the rest of your place, Bill. I want to talk to you more about your work. Hmm. Yes, of course. Tomorrow. Yes. It's pretty late now. Yes, it is late. No, I'm, I'm afraid I rather bored you, old man, with my chatter at the dinner table. Oh, Jim, you heathen. Uh, You've never you bored heathen? me a minute in all the time. Ugly, like stupid <laughs> idiot. Oh, that man Rayfield of yours is certainly an excellent cook. Yes. He's an excellent tutor for young Johnny, too. You'll find him quite helpful if you want any. He's an even him. better rapist. Oh, by the way, the people in this spot are a superstitious lot, Jim. Don't let them bother you with any of their nonsense. No, Come here. A, a silly rot about... Okay, well, uh, so... Things in the night. What thing? Oh, there's nothing, of course. But they take all sorts of means to ward off... Means? Uh, ...well, the evil spirits. Oh, oh, I see. Here, I'll, I'll set this charm here on your desk. You won't be using the desk. Charm? Uh, what charm? Well, it's just a simple thing that the people hereabouts always insist on putting in the room in which a person sleeps. Here, these three bits of green twigs... Two of them standing upright, like this. There we have it. Hey, what is this? One cross what it is. on the uprights, like this. Then a lakeshore pebble. This little bit of charred wood. There Just a are. bunch of dirty shit you put on his desk. Now you're, you're fully protected. Protected against what? Why, those evil spirits I was telling you about. And now just forget about them, Jim. <laughs> There's evil the spirits I was telling you to disregard, Rachel which are of no in. concern. He's very superstitious, and he'll never rest until he's made a charm for you himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, but I still... Now, just forget all about it. Just a whim of Raphael's. Good Get night, Jim. Good night, old man. See you in the morning. Old right. man, don't be right mean, though. You need a spare bracket. There's one in the closet there. Right, Bill. Good night. That's a spare black? Hmm. A whim of Rayfield's, huh? Whim. Three bits of green twig. Make sure pebble. Don't. A piece of charred wood. Oh, does that do anything? Hmm. Yeet. A you tell. Combination. Give me more. Give me more. What off evil spirits, so Bill claims. But what evil spirits? Oh, shit! Great horn toads, what's that? Great horn toads. Where's what the hobbit? What is that? Bill! Bill, I say Bill, what's that howling? It is nothing, mister. Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh god, what are you? Animal. In the it's night. quite an animal. That sounded like a wolf. <laughs> wolf, mister. Yes. It couldn't have been the wolf. There are no such animals in this country, you know. I know that, but... There, you hear it? It, it, it will be all right, sir. Did Mr. Andrews give you the charm? Charm? Oh, yes, the charm. It will go, thank you, sir, from anything. Wait a minute, Rayfield, don't go. Just what is this thing I'm being protected from? She's a Rizalka. Nothing. Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. People Quiet back there. Spots. On curious spot. That's all. Superstitious, you know. And all that sort of thing. So humor. 
by always keeping it shorn in the sleeping rooms of our homes. Yes, but I don't see why you should worry about humoring anybody. Way out here alone like this on this well, island. Well, sir, it is just a... Zach, my Kirk Sharn. Oh, Mr. Andrews, <laughs> Kirk Sharn. Because he said okay. it was you he was satisfied Is it by nice placing the charm in my bedroom. Yes, sir. I'm drunk to the point where I'm disgusted with myself. You all know this feel. What I mean, good. sir, I'll best be going. Reveal Sidran! I hope you sleep good, Mr. Owl. Gertab. Reveal. Don't worry about the owling. Nothing will harm you. Don't worry about anything. There's nothing to worry about. Not <gasps> What's that? A translator? Passcode. Swing of this cabin, right over there. Why, George? I'm going to skirt this place and have a look. Uh, quiet now. The sound. What? Yeah, what reveal. What's going on in that room? The sound's coming from. That window's heavily barred. And the window glass is frosted and curtained, so no one can see inside. <coughs> from inside that room. Manipulate reality with encoded oh, strings. Please. Use menu. Bill. Bill, are you in there? Can I ask Bill. her? Oh, so is it? Oh. All right. Bill, so look at these. Andrews, are you in there? <gasps> Codes. Whatever it is, it's trying to get out. <gasps> Bill, Bill, are you all right? Are you in there, old man? Bill, are you in there? Tell us about your film school. Bill. I think that's nothing. Yes, Jim. Welcome Bill, I got scared out here. Oop. Oh. I heard that animal howling, and I thought that... Animal? What animal, Jim? Don't tell me you didn't hear it. <laughs> you weren't by any chance dreaming already, were you, old boy? But the howling came from inside that room. Say, you have been hearing things. I certainly have. <laughs> Just before you opened the door, I heard an animal sniffing and whining and scratching at the door. Fine. Oh, now, Jim. A joke's a joke. But I'm not joking. Well, Reveal Sidran? Okay. Come on inside and look for yourself, then. Oh, that's right. Does anybody use this room? Certainly, it's young mm -hmm. Johnny's. Okay. He and Bill Jr. had the room together before... before we lost Bill Jr. Ooh. Bill? <gasps> I'd Stop swear it. there was an animal in here a moment ago. <laughs> Normally, Jim, I'd be a little confused by what you're saying. Well, the long trip, the worry about your baby daughter... Look, 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 there on the door. Long, deep scratches, like an animal's nails would make. Oh, oh those. Cryptologists. Those marks are ancient. Boys used to own a collie dog. We don't have him anymore. We used to shut him up in here sometimes, and he'd scratch on the door for someone to let him out. Now what's this? Yeah, Bill, what is this? Hmm. A long, heavy chain, securely fastened to the metal bedpost. And a huge leather collar on the now other end. Now where do you want yes. Now where do you want to go? the collie's chain and collar. We, well, we've never removed it from the bed. We chain the dog here at night to protect the boys. But look here. Fresh blood stains on the collar. Little wisps of gray. I was just eating a bit Jim, of forget it. provolone. Those stains are fresh. That dog hair has probably been there for ages. What yeah. of it? I suppose so. Hoy! Shit! Why are the bars on the windows, Andrew? Just a protection for the children. Well, come on the living room, old man, and let me get you a drink. Call it a night, shall we? Yes. Yeah. I suppose we'd better. Just say it's sex things. It's Your for little sleep sex. will do everybody a lot of good. Angela, I can't tell you how happy I am to have you and Jim here to visit me. Oh, we've looked forward to this for six months, Bill. I envy Jim for having a weak head daughter on me. <laughs> oh, really Don't kill me! I, I didn't want it! Yeah. I didn't know that was evil. It's time we had some rest, too. Sex. That's my hint to clear out. No, no. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm going over to the mainland. I'll be back And I'll need your strongest potions. Wrong, Bill? Oh, no, not a thing. Go up and then go over there. Jim, may I ask a favor? Certainly. That Don't. watch charm you're wearing. Solid silver, isn't it? Why, yes, it is. <gasps> Do you think you could give it to me? Oh. Give it to you. 
Why, of course. I have a very special reason for wanting it. Nothing? You. I wouldn't ask for it if I didn't have. Why'd you trick you me, you fuck? Thanks, old man. I... I hope I can return it to you. Well, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, Joe. Read your goddamn note. Why does Bill act so strangely? I... I don't know, dear. Did it translate hmm. it? I wonder why he wanted that silver watch charm. Odd. Oh, oh, by the way. No matter. You said you had that wire for me. Oh, yes. It's here in my purse. I'll get it for you. Would you cover Sandra, dear? She's kicked her blanket off. Oh, sure. Here you are, darling. Thanks. Damn Sandra. it. Yes, dear? Listen. He got me again. In answer to your cable... I have been able to learn that the grandfather of William J. Andrews was shot in France almost half a century ago by an angered mob. His grave was recently opened, and instead of the remains of a man, investigators found the almost perfectly intact body of a strange beast, somewhat resembling a wolf. Jim! No. What was it? Just oh, oh, Jim, what's that? Something's wrong. Come on, hurry. Oh, look. Look down the doorway of that room with the bars at the windows. Some animal running out there near the edge. Jim. I hit that creature three times. I How come I think... Yet you the suck. bullets didn't even slow him down. Jim. There, the doorway. It's Rafael. Look it's racial. Oh, his throat. <laughs> Only an animal could have done a thing like that. Why, young Johnny? Look, Jim. That heavy chain hanging from the bedpost. Oh, the collar's gone. Chain snapped right in two. In twain. And, uh, you and I have a job to do. I... I hate to ask you to do this, but... I think you've got the courage. To do what, dear? Come along with me. You will see. Damn it. You about ready to get the lid off the box now? Oh. They just float Steady, off. Angela. Steady. Oh, this thing's terrible. Desecrating Bill Junior's grave like this. Digging up the casket. If I'm wrong about this. I will eat my hat. Hand me that bar. That's it. Now. Hmm. Hold the light over here now, Angela. Hmm. Just another nail or two. It's like what? Do you have to mutate it? Jail. Jail. Just exactly what I thought. That's not a boy's body in that casket. It's, it's a wear boy. It's what was Bill Jr. But look. Woolly fur all over it. And that head and face. Like a dog's. Like a wolf's. <gasps> oh, Jim. Young Bill Jr. died. A werewolf. His great grandfather before him had the same disease. He's got werewolf disease. That's why Bill Jr. died so mysteriously. That's why Andrews had to leave the mainland to move out here. Does that do it? While, been How do you get it and not fuck it up? Trying to effect a cure. It's a vampire. The hair on the palms of young Johnny's hands. Not wanting me to shake hands with him. It's no, a thing I you already got? I was so up. insistent about the charm of twigs, stone. Charcoal. Nope. My watch charm. A silver bullet. A bullet. <laughs> Jim. That howled again. That, that's coming from our room, Jim. Come on, hurry. Hurry. Look. Your child is now a wolf. We left it on, didn't we? Oh, yes, we did. Oh, Jim, hurry. There. The light went on. Look out, dear. Let me in there. 
door's locked. Who's in there? Open this door. Open up. Oh, Jim. She has... Open up this door. Open up, I say. Kill him. Everything's finished now. Young Johnny is dead. Your victim has died. Oh, there's somewhere else I can go in here. <gasps> you. Play Castlevania? What? I got a thing. Seek. That's it, Maine. Is that the end? Scott Bishop's 13th original tale of That was well, like what? W is for werewolf. Ben Morris was heard tonight as Jim Howard. Garland Moss was Bill Andrews. Eleanor Nathan. It is I, Garland. Took the part of Angela Howard. Fred Wayne is was there a little Raphael, secret opener? And Don Stoltz played young John Draper. Next Friday night at the same time. That was so scary. So, 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 so fast. Rendezvous with Satan. I like devil stories. Okay, this is the last one, then the stream's gotta be done. I wanna make some Ritos. No one interrupted. That was pretty good. No one speak! I have a rendezvous with death. Okay. W is for whites, known as the human devil. This is a story about Satan. Yeah, why is it always a Nathan? Is there any Nathan in here? Good people, let us remember him who has passed, not for what he was, not for what he did, but because he was. Nathan is Celtic God, for liability. A temple of God. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's so fucking funny. About to return to common clay. For you. From common clay. You're a pretty big, Nathan. Today we gather here to pay our last tribute. This now still place. Don't boss me. here before us cold in the coldness of death. Fuck! Let us always remember. <laughs> and let us always it's remember. Did you see him? Move his hand. Is this anything? Move his hand, the Madam, please. Oh, no. No, surely you're mistaken. I distinctly saw his hand move. I couldn't have. Carl. Carl. Oh, my darling. Oh, some birds. <gasps> you can't move this Sudan. This is the Sudan land. What's that happened to me? Just lie still, Carl Fisher. This craft is most fragile. What? Where am I? Where would you be after death? Death? You say death? Yes. Am I dead? They have your body in a church, Carl. <laughs> Imagine you in a church. No. Hmm. No. No, you're mistaken. This is no church. I I'm right here. Apparently you are, yes. But we are most careful when we bring you here. We take every precaution to uh, relieve the shock. Shock? 
Of Seminole. finding yourself in the midst of fire and brimstone. Hot. Hot, damn. It's so hot. <laughs> you get used to it. Where am I? Your soul is here with me. Your body is back on earth. At present, resting within a satin-lined coffin. Oh, shit, satin's oh. here. Yes. They're soon going to place you within a tomb. Oh, I don't believe you. Don't you? Personally, makes no I difference think they to me whether you do or not. Contract. But for your own satisfaction, suppose you feel for yourself. What? Yes. Reach up with your right hand. Reach up. Feel the casket lining by your head. Fuck. Go right ahead. There. You see? Yes. But, but I'm lying in the bottom of a boat. Only your soul is. This is some trick. The boat is satin lying. <laughs> I'll admit, Carl Fisher, I am generally most concerned about my own comfort. But as far as lining one of my boats with satin, no. <laughs> I fear that would be too much, even for Satan. <gasps> A satin Satan. Yes. Here. Let me prove to you the boat KS. is not cloth line. Fucking team want to not KS and worry about helping? Uh, you see? Okay, then we're... Go so all the way up. <laughs> That's irony. You are a devil. Yes? Yeah. I am. But not just a devil. The devil. The devil. Oh. You mean... You old I'm dog. really dead. One never dies. Ah, oh, don't! The common clay perishes, yes. But only the common clay. The Let common me out of here. Clay. I'm sorry. This is some common core shit. You won't brainwash me. Shush, shut your Jimmy Trap front. I'm listening. Fuck <laughs> me and... Fuck? Felt the lining in my head. <laughs> That's because I wished you to. Nothing is done here unless I order it done. Then, then I am dead. Only your body. <laughs> it might interest you to know. You caused quite a commotion up there a moment ago when you interrupted your funeral oration by suddenly moving in your casket. Yes. Yeah. Quite a commotion. Only two people saw you. One of them was a woman. Only two people gave you a fuck? frightened her, Carl. But they've taken her away now. Oh, yeah, you need that you other mean, blue... My so. body actually is being preached over? Oh, yes. Indeed, yes. You were a prominent man on Earth, Carl. Freaking girl, pay attention to me. Most elegant funeral. Girl. So many flowers, half of them could be brought into the church. People standing outside, on the sidewalk even. Is Laura there? Your wife? Uh, oh, certainly. Where else would she be? Church, you say? Yes. Yeah, Amazing you, doesn't it? You haven't been in a church for 35 years. No. You wouldn't even permit your daughter to be buried from a church, Carl. But she went to heaven. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Stop it, stop it. Do you remember Reverend Brooks, Carl? Reverend Brooks? Yes. He married you. Remember? <laughs> you got Today, married. He's officiating at your funeral. No, no. To a religion. Would you like to hear what he's saying, Carl? Listen. Carl yeah, how do you get down there? brought then? tragedy into our lives. Let us remember that out of tragedy, good Auto can tragedy. rise. Soon that tragedy will be forgotten. But let us never there. forget Carl Fisher. Let us remember him always mm. as a Christian. Here, Carl. A Christian, he says. Stop. Stop that voice. Listen, Carl. Let us pray for him often and ask Almighty God to grant him pardon. Let us be generous towards him that finally the Supreme Ruler may in turn be generous towards us. No. No, stop him. Stop him. I don't want to hear anymore. Did you hear what he said, Carl? He asked your friends, your family, your wife. Forget your evil. To forget you. Remember yeah. only what was forget about that. you. Yes, Carl. 
You are an evil man. leaves them nothing to remember. <laughs> That's slow burn. They have nothing to remember. If they're asking oh, there them to remember only the good things good. about you, I didn't have a chance. what would they remember at all? You say you didn't have a chance? Certainly not. Mm, well, I don't want to waste my breath by pointing out the chances you did have. I was forced into everything that happened. Forced, I say. Were you? Certainly I was. Haven't you ever heard of free will? Free will? Free will, you say? Oh, this is I pointless. I haven't had yeah, a will of my own in the last something. 30 years. No. Haven't you, Carl? No. You know I haven't. I knew I was doing wrong. <laughs> he sure, married you, and that's it. kind of the reason why you're down I here. I never have made my millions by, by being the other way. Your millions. Did you enjoy them, Carl? I, I was just beginning to when, when I took charge of you. Is that it? Yes. Your millions aren't worth much here. Oh, where am I? Certainly you haven't lost your imagination. Where would you be? With fire on all sides and the smell of brimstone. And with me as your pilot on the river Styx. Styx? You remember. It's our largest river. Where are you taking me? I have a special assignment for you, Mr. Fisher. We have a certain reserve space for members like you down here. The fuck is this? There you go. I oh. have a special plan for this Am world. I in Hades? Does that surprise you? Oh, no. You're no, I Hadita. can't be. I didn't want to die. I wanted to do what was right, but I couldn't. You didn't try. I was going to try. You've done nothing but evil for 30 years. You couldn't change now. I could. I tell you, I could. No, car. I'll make a bargain with you, Satan. Bargain? <laughs> no one makes bargains with Satan. Excuse me, Give me priest, a chance. Let me go back and let me live my life over. I'll change. I swear I will. You'd never change. I will. I will. Let me go back. Let me show you. Let me prove I can do what's right. All right, Carl. Oh! <laughs> I'll bargain with you. It would at least relieve the Come. dull monotony. You give me a chance? Yes. For 24 hours. Let's see what you got. 24 hours? Only 24 hours? Yes. Do nothing but good for 24 hours, and I'll not return to claim you. But if you fail... I won't fail. I won't, I won't. It's up to you, Carl. It's entirely up to you. But remember, only 24 hours... Only 24 <laughs> hours. <laughs> 24 hours, Carl. 24 hours, Carl. You really shouldn't have come tonight, Laura. You should rest. I know. Oh, damn. I couldn't rest. Poor Carl. He needed someone so badly those last few days. And I was away. You could have telejumped her. What was happening? You mustn't blame yourself, Laura. No, I can't help it. You could have telejumped her. I feel I deserted my husband. Fuck! Just when a man needs his wife most. <laughs> There'll come a time, Doctor West, when when I'll be afraid to come out here to the mausoleum. Mausoleum. I wanted to come Museum. tonight to tell yeah. you goodbye. Goodbye. Yes. Yeah. I loved my husband, David. Despite everything he did, he was the only one I ever cared for. Here, my dear, you I have suck. the key. You chose the asshole. I see, Laura. It's not locked. But I saw you lock it after the services this afternoon. I did lock it. I would swear I did. Open the door. Yes. Do you have a light? Yes. Pocket flash. I want to smoke. There. <gasps> oh, David. Empty. Damn, it's big, David. Are you serious about it? <gasps> the casket's empty. David, for heaven's sakes, what's happened here? I don't know. Oh, but I'm in that spooker zone. Carl always said he'd come back. What? Yes. He told me once he had no fear of death. If I ever because die, I, knew, I will come back. He always said that. Yes. I 
Well, I laughed at him at the time, but now I wonder. <laughs> so that was kind of part of his plan. It wasn't. Same zone. I'd better go now, Laura. Sure you're feeling all right? Yes, I... I know I won't sleep tonight. You can relax. Alone? I can send you out a nurse if you like. Oh, no. No, I'd rather be alone. But if you need me, Fuck. please don't hesitate to call. Thank you, David. Good night, my dear. <laughs> you Good can, night, David. You can stick that... Thank that you so much for being such a dear. I'll... I'll call you in the morning. Good night. Shit, Pietti? That's strange. Yes. I'm not hearing things. That's an electric razor running. I'm not fucked up. But it can't be. What? There's no one in the apartment but myself. And that person I'm speaking Carl. to? Carla. Carl. Is that anything? Carl. Carl. The audio for this game sounds like an old radio show. Yes, my dear, did you call me? Carl. Yes, Laura, what is it? Carl. Are you really there? What do you mean, am I really here? Of course I'm here. Heavens, I was right in the middle of my shaving. Oh, no. Laura, what's the matter with you? Why'd you no. call me? No, Carl, please don't come any closer, please. The world's gotten into you all of a sudden. Darling, is it really you? Really me? Now, what are you talking about? Carl, don't you know? Don't I know what? We... We buried you this afternoon. A lot of people oh. said fucking Daredevil is so good, and Carl. I looked at it, and it was terrible. Don't look at me like so that. So I don't believe Jessica Jones. Buried me. Yes. Never trick me again. Oh, darling, what's happened? Tell me what's happened. I don't know. Something's wrong. Carl. I... My head. My head? Whirling. Ah! I don't... Remember what happened. Oh, darling, you're alive. Warm. Breathing. Yes, but I seem to have been away. It was so hot. There was a boat on a river and a satin lined casket and. Oh, Laura. Darling, darling, you did come back. Dr. West you... said you would. Yeah. They say Daredevil. Dr. West. Yes. Yeah, don't, David. Don't. He said you told him once you'd come back after. Just one little fragment? What's going on? You fucking idiot. Laura. Awesome. I have been dead, haven't I? Yes, Carl. I remember now. I was sitting at my desk. Sitting alone at night in my office. And then something happened. You were shot. In the back of the neck. Everything stopped. The next thing I knew, I was riding in the bottom of a boat lined with silk. No. Oh, that wasn't the boat. Living in a lined. shotgun shack. It was the casket. He told me to move my hand and I'd feel it. Who, Carl? Supergirl? We should watch these in Cool Hole. It was... Cool Hole makes everything so oh, nice. Carl. It makes that medicine yeah. go down. I died. Went to Hades. But I bargained with Satan. I bargained with him. He took me up. Gave me 24 hours. An expander. 24 hours. Darling. Size node. Darling, I didn't understand... <sighs> So these are bigger? Four hours to prove I <gasps> can do good here on Earth. Oh, is it true? Can it be real? Yes, it is true. It's real. I can't believe it. Things like this just don't happen. This happened. But Carl... Carry the water. I made a bargain, I tell you. A bargain with Satan. He's just remembering all this stuff? I have a rendezvous to keep with him. Wow, you're Find just realizing that now? I'm confused, Paul. If only... You do realize. Oh, you didn't know that? Oh, That's no. another good one. You didn't even know that? No, no, they they won't understand. You're just we'll realizing that now? Here. I'll see who it is. But the world's got to know sometime. Oh, people will know soon enough. Please, dear. I'm Hi, too Alice. upset for a scene. To, What's to the try to explain hole? to anyone tonight. Is it secrets? All right, my dear, if you wish. Thank you, darling.
Just a moment. David. I had to come back, Laura. I couldn't stay away. David, please. Forgive me, dearest. What's but up, I've sex? waited so long. David, please go. No. Not until I've talked to you. You want to have sex? I can't wait any longer, Laura. It's not fair for you to ask me to. Not fair? You know I love you, Laura. I've known it for months, years. David. You have known, haven't you? Yes, but... I've waited so long to have the right to tell you about my love. <laughs> now, I have the right to have sex oh, with you. I, I know it's not right to Took come to you pictures on the of night her of your husband's the funeral and say these things. But I must know, Laura. I must know. I have nothing to say to you, David. Nothing. I know you were always madly in love with that criminal of a husband of yours, but that's over now. You have to forget him. Oh, remember, Get over darling. your stupid husband. You're a young woman yet. yesterday. Your life is still ahead of you. You can't go on carrying a torch for someone who cared more about making a million dollars than making you happy. <laughs> don't say he it. did I have, have right that one million dollars. <laughs> now, I've kept him in check all of these years, waiting and hoping. And now Carl is dead. I don't care if I get hurt. You hear me? I'm dead. Scared. Dead. <laughs> you stupid dead husband. No, David. Not now or ever. Yes. Yes, I say. You're mine. If anyone has a right to you, I have. <laughs> yeah, everything good. Everything I've done to get you. Will you go now, David? Ah. Oh, Laura. Laura, I need you. Oh, Laura, please, so you marry me. No, David. <laughs> but I know you care for me. I could make you Get learn to love me. No, never. I could make I've had you nothing love me. for you, David, but friendship. I'll never have more. I know that's not true. Don't say that. It's not. You're you do wrong. care for me. How about yourself. I could tell by the way you kissed me. That's when I first began building my hopes. Kissed you? When did I kiss you? You haven't forgotten. The party in my penthouse. None more than three months ago. Your birthday party. Yes. All the girls kissed you that night. If you remember, we even made a sort of game out of it. Lined up like a bunch of high school girls to compliment our host. Yes, but you meant yep. more than just a compliment. Dude, I think this waitress likes me. Oh, no. I kissed you just like the others. In full sight of my husband. And I, I might add, to his complete amusement. Carl wasn't in the room. You waited until he'd left before you got into line. Oh, nonsense, David. No. I knew that night you cared for me. That's when I began planning to make you mine. David, you you loved it. Not until you told me Did you Did you kill the husband? The, the husband? There's someone else. Only my husband. Someone else. Safe. Someone who's alive. Please go, David. What's Is there that? anyone alive? I want you you kind of like? What was that? In that other room? Nothing. What are Nothing you... at all. What are you doing? I don't want you to ever come back here, David. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm locking this door. I'm in no mood How? to have you go ransacking my place. There's someone in that room. David. So, so, you couldn't wait until your husband was safely buried. Couldn't wait. David. Well, he won't Shamer. have you. Shamer. You hear me? He won't have you. David. Please go now. It's okay for me to ask you to marry me the day your husband died. Very well. But I'm telling you this. It's Lord, a monkey pilot. God. He won't have you. I have to go pee pee very bad. Whoever he is, hurt. he'll never have you. <laughs> Start singing an opera. I promise you that. <gasps> Shit. <gasps> okay, do. Good. Carl? You heard? Ninner and a. Yes. Well? She's been having an affair behind her back, hasn't she? She deserves to be killed, doesn't she? Is that Satan? Kill her. I don't have to tell you, Carl. Kill her. I've never cared for him. Go ahead, Carl. Kill her. She's lying, don't you think? Kill her. No one but you, darling. Ever. I can still tempt you, Carl. That's my job. That's how That's I my keep job, my fires dude. burning. I, I'm not doing anything fucked up. That's my job. Carl. I can no. tempt you. Don't believe her. She's never lied to you before, but there's always a first time. Darling. Kill her. Please don't stand there looking at me. Kill her. Say something. She wants you to say something. Kill her. Well, Kill her. Go ahead. Say something. Darling. It's all right, dearest. I believe you. 
Is there a secret way in here or what? You can... Is that the end? I wonder what people will say when I... I walk out into the world again. Carl, don't you think it would be best for us to go away quietly? Someplace where we'd never be recognized? Oh, well. I have a bargain to fulfill. Only until three this afternoon. You'll spend that time with me then. I'm sorry, I can't. There's more to be done than probably either of us imagined. Where are you going? To the office first. I'll go with you. No, dear. I'll come back to you before I leave you again. Fucking. To keep my rendezvous with Satan. He keeps saying it. My husband came home from the grave. Don't! Good morning, Miss Walling. Good morning, Mr. Fisher. You're early this morning, Mr. Fisher. Fisher. Mr. Oh, yeah, you died Fisher. yesterday. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm a girl. I should have made a scene. I spent Stupid. all morning explaining. And nothing Stupid going. I woman. I myself in the office. He blames her instantly. West. Come in, Carl. I've been waiting for you. Sitting in my chair. Sorry, but this content head. is locked yes. for premium members only. What if you would like to I unlock this part of the, of the plot in the audio spoof I'm story, to make a please pay $9.99 to J.G. Wentworth. Right. Call 877 yeah, cash now. This is a recording. A uh. You died without leaving a will. I have one here dated three months before your death. Sign it. The night of the party. And I'll permit you to take away half of your seven million dollars and Laura. And a girl. Permit me. Yes. You couldn't operate your business now. People wouldn't want to do business with a dead man. Do I look dead Fuck. to you? Don't be facetious. I'm serious. I know all about what happened to you. I know what I the came devil. I to see Laura last night. I heard you talking before I pushed the buzzer. I don't understand it all. But I'm prepared to give Laura up for your business and half your cash. You killed me. Cash. What? You killed me. Drone launch. Fisher, keep back. I see it clearly now. I like that. I see now that Laura wasn't lying to me last night. She's never cared for you. I warn you. Fuck. Keep Fuck. back, Fisher. I remember what you said to her. Fuck. You said, Fuck. if anyone has a right to you, Laura, I have. After everything I've done to get you. This gun is loaded, Carl. Yes, I see it all clearly now. Stay back. Stay away from me. The night she kissed you at the party. Remember what you said about that last night? That was the night you began planning to make her yours. If you come any nearer, I'll shoot. I'm not going to harm you, Dr. West. You'd like to get your hands on this gun. You'd like to kill me, wouldn't you? Kill you? No, I yes, can't you kill you. I've made a bargain not to. Then keep back. I could kill you, though. I've been proclaimed legally dead, you know. You can't hang a dead man. Keep back. One step farther and I'll shoot. I told you I don't intend to harm Stop. you. Stop where you are. I Remember when a thousand people watched this? Stop. Not one step farther. Not one step farther. Laura. Oh, darling, are you hurt? Oh... It's nothing. He shot you, Carl. Laura. That gun in your hand. I... I followed you here. I don't know why I brought the gun. Oh, maybe that's the same Laura. Right there. You killed him. Oh, darling. Give it to me. No. Give it to me. Give it to me. I gotta do you. No. Look at the clock. Yeah. No time for a doctor. You hurt badly. Oh, it doesn't matter. Give me that gun. Carl. Give it to me. There. Now. Now they. They'll think. We shot each other. Carl! 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 Oh, my darling! My darling! 
the gun, Coral. You have won your bargain, Carl Fisher. There's no place here for you. The fuck? Now. Oh, you can almost do her. That was the end. Okay, the stream's done. Okay, you Your you got the deal, Carl. Taken. You want it? Okay, bye. Tale of dark fantasy by Scott Bishop, originating in the studio. That was it. You're not welcome in hell Carl anymore. Fisher, Blois Wright played Doctor David West. Eleanor Naylor Corrin was Laura Fisher. Fred Wayne took the part of Satan. Muir Height was heard as Reverend Brooks, and Georgiana Cook Height played the secretary. Go over there. Next <sighs> Friday at this time, listen for Scott Bishop's "I Am Your Brother." I'm your I'm brother! <laughs> your best friend forever. Singing the songs, the music that you like.